Hello there, this is Ben Simpson from Vibe Manchester once again. Uh, today we have an interview with Gary, who's got a new show on Amazon Prime, uh, The Jewish Inquirer. Uh, can you quickly tell us about yourself and this show you got? So uh, I'm a Manchester-born um, filmmaker. Mainly I've been making uh, feature films uh, for a good while. And uh, mainly comedies, although I've done the old psychological thriller. Um, and I, uh, yeah, for some time I've been wanting to make a comedy that's like about a man who is disgruntled with the, uh, sort of the rubbishness of life. He's not happy with the fact that, for example, when he buys a packet of mangoes from Tesco's, the, there are always two types of mangoes in there. There's like, there's like the mango that's sweet and delicious, and then there's like the cheaper one. And that bugs me. And there are many other things that bug me. I found out that my car, uh, although it tells me it's dri I'm driving at 30 miles an hour, actually, the truth is, is that all cars are programmed to show that you're driving at 30 miles an hour, where in fact, you're only driving at 27, right? So we are being lied to by our cars, and we're being lied to by supermarkets. And we're being lighter. And they, basically, it bugs me that the modern world is full of these just little frustrating lies. And I'm a little bit obsessive. Um, and through that obsession um, came about this character. And then I turned him into a Jewish character, uh, partly because I'm Jewish. And it just made for like an additional element of humor. And as you know, like Jewish comedy in the States has been very, um, has been very successful. And here we've got Friday night dinner uh, um, and, and grandma's house, but I wanted to just make him Jewish because it made it easier for me to bring in stuff that was just funny. Uh, where would you say, uh, how would you compare this to uh, other comedy shows? Or did you take any influence from any comedy shows from the past or the present that you've kind of took and kind of made it your own thing? I'll tell you, the, the, the thing is, I, I still hang on to certain series that I watched when I was a lot younger, hmm. certain types of comedy. Um, I was a huge fan of Rising Damp, oh. a huge fan of Rising Damp. I used to sit and watch Rising Damp with my dad. Yeah, and, I my dad uh, that show as well. Yeah, he's just the physicality of, of uh, Leonard Rossiter and the character of Rigsby and the way that he interacted with the students and the black guy and the woman, with Don Warrington played the black guy. Those were all, he was edgy and we were laughing at, we, we, you're laughing at him, but he was also raising interesting issues about, you know, we do, we do have people who, you know, less so now, but they're not overtly racist, but you can't, you can't hide the fact that somewhere in the backs of people's minds, there are things going on that they maybe can't express on Twitter or don't get expressed in the papers. So, for example, we know that, you know, you can fight as much as possible the idea that people are sexist. But if you open up the Daily Mail, right, on the right hand side, you've got the strip of shame and you've got all these pictures of very nearly naked women. Yeah. So on the one hand, saying, oh, look, we're, feminine, we're beating sexism, but then you're clearly not. So, uh, so I just wanted to explore all these things so rising dad was a very good one also hancock's half hour he was very good at being curmudgeonly uh, miserable and then obviously you know more recently uh from the states you've had things like seinfeld and, and curb your enthusiasm yeah. um and you know they they tap it but but whilst i appreciate and genuinely appreciate because people are very nice to compare it to curb and i appreciate that i think there is something very British about this. And it, I think that's what it's appealing to. Uh, what would you say, you kind of already touched upon it, but what would you say uh, in terms of the show being representative of not only the Jewish community, but also interfaithful relationships? Because even though it's about uh, the, a Jewish main character, it's not just for Jewish people, would you say? It's really not just for Jewish people. In fact, it's almost the, it's almost the opposite. Jewish people, going back to anything that I've ever made, that had any Jewish content in it. Jewish people always moan and, and, and you know, and argue about whether or not something's funny or not. It's within any community, it's much more 
much more uh, difficult because people go, oh, he's, 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 you're put, you, you have to be careful about how you portray Jews. And he goes, like, no, I don't have to be that careful. These, you know, I've just, this is for, for the non-Jewish world. And I think, I think with regard to anti-Semitism, maybe this is the issue. So I personally am a big fan. It's probably, I hope it's come across already. I'm a big fan of this country. You know, I really am. And that doesn't mean that I have to, you know, sing land of hope and glory at every available opportunity. Uh, the show right now, again, is uh, the first season's on Amazon Prime. Uh, all the episodes are around the 25 minute mark. Uh, there's no excuse not to just binge on it. Are you currently working on a second season? I am working on a second season. I've written uh, two episodes. I'm working on a third. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite hopeful that the, I'm quietly, what's the phrase I use? Quietly confident oh, that yeah. a second will happen. I think Tim Downey, who plays the lead, is absolutely brilliant. And Lucy Montgomery, who swears her way through the series, <laughs> is just fantastic. I actually put together a little clip on YouTube of Lucy Montgomery's swear moments. Uh, which is about a minute of her doing nothing but swearing, hmm. uh, and she's absolutely she's absolutely brilliant in it. So yeah, no, I think that uh, it's it looks like it's catching a wind, and I'm you know I'm I'm delighted that um, that you guys have have chosen to review it, and I really appreciate it. No worries, uh, and I would say when they're just on screen together, their chemistry just sizzles and sparks. It's just you can't take your eyes off it. Uh, so. Yeah, once again, uh, The Jewish Inquirer is on Amazon Prime right now, uh, ready for streaming. Uh, Vibe Manchester heavily recommends it. And uh, thank you very much, Gary, for coming for this interview. Thanks very much, Ben. Nice to meet you. And thanks to everybody in Manchester. Stay safe.